I'm a 3D artist, and in this video, I'm designing all new Minecraft bosses for biomes that don't have them yet, because there are barely any at the moment. But there is one catch. In three days, a real mod developer is going to judge whatever I make from one to 10. I can't say much yet, but these might end up in the game, so I really need these to be good. The first area I made a boss for are the new Amethyst Geodes. Currently, Amethysts aren't used for much, and so while they are cool, the Geodes are about as useful as the new dislike button. But that's where the new boss comes in. Whenever Amethyst is broken, there would be a small chance to summon the crystal golem, who would run around and shoot lasers from the crystals on its back. It would drop the crystal heart, which can turn these boys into crystals, which don't take any damage less than a certain amount. On top of saving the damage, he'd also drop a few placeable crystals, which can be dyed different colors for decoration. I think it's a pretty good idea, but first I have to actually make it. After a few gigabytes of adding details, it's time for the lovely process where I color every pixel on this godforsaken model, with a mouse. Amethyst geodes are made of basalt, calcite, and amethyst, so I used a combination of these to make the texture. Next, I added a bunch of crystals along its back, made it glow in the dark, and with that, the golem is complete. This is honestly one of the best I've made so far, but this guy isn't impressed by anything, so I've got a long way to go. And not to panic, but the call is coming up quick. I only have one of three bosses complete, the Discord is crumbling, we have like three play buttons to make, I haven't posted on Instagram in like a year, and Raid Shadow Legends is about to break my door down. So I asked him, Skylar, give me some advice that would help help me on my journey or whatever. He thought about it for a moment. If you listen closely, you could even hear the aluminum cans clanking against the shoreline. <clears throat> my advice is that nothing matters, so give it your all, because even when you fail, the sun is still going to explode. The next area I wanted to make a boss for is the mountain. It's such a beautiful region, so peaceful. Look at the goat. Unfortunately, they remind me of the worst, horrible, life-ruining feature in the entire game. Let's say, hypothetically, you wanted to build this Avengers Tower at 6 p.m. on a server. It's impossible to get like eight people to sleep or leave at the same time, and let's say, hypothetically, 52% of Minecraft players decided to vote in a creature whose literal existence serves no purpose but to shove me, personally, off of this tower while I am building it because you need to sleep at least once every three days. I don't even do that in real life. So you know what I'm gonna make? I don't know. Something out of nightmares, I think. And speaking of nightmares, today's video is partnered with Monster Legends, a free mobile game where you build a world and fill it with hundreds of different monsters available to collect. All of these monsters are very unique and can be bred with one another. How is a panda able to lay an egg? I don't know. And I don't want to, frankly. Once you've got an army of monsters, you can level up your best ones and send them to battle, or even fight in real time against your friends. There are new events to tune into every week, like the YouTuber Island, where you can explore worlds created for some of the most popular YouTubers. We got ZHC, we got Laser Beam, we even got Dream. We love Dream. Come on, we love Dream. <laughs> I think I'm in danger. And if you download using the link below by December 31st, you'll get a rare monster, 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, and much more. So get on down to the link in the description. Don't make me come over there. And of course, thank you to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Phantoms are pretty much the biggest nuisance in the game. So I thought to myself, how could I make them worse? And that's when it hit me. I'm gonna make a giant phantom that shoots lightning everywhere. And you know what? It doesn't even care if you sleep. Not until your entire world goes up in flames and all of your dogs are dead. All jokes aside, you know if this was one of the options. They'd probably vote it in. These guys, they'd do it. You know they would. I started by finding some reference. When you searched Lightning Phantom, you get a bike with a chair on it. So there's nothing I can blatantly copy this time. So I went about it the usual way, where I stare at the screen for 20 minutes, look at your ideas for like 10 seconds, and then regret all of my life decisions up until this moment. I tried and scrapped like five different designs and ended up settling on just a bigger phantom, which doesn't sound cool, but what if I made it way bigger? I'm calling it the Blight. It's basically a tainted phantom. It's got ripped wings. It's got... Are those gills? The Blight drops a very special item when it's destroyed. You've heard of better armor, better weapons, better materials. Uh, this one drops a lever. What does it do, you may ask? It deletes phantoms from the game, that's what it does. No more leaving servers, no more sleeping. They're gone. But to make up for it, the Blight drops tainted membrane, which can be combined with the Elytra to make a better one. Tighter turns, built-in boosting, glows in the dark, possibly RGB lighting. I call it Better Elytra dot blend. Haven't thought of a name yet. With that, the blight is complete, but I still have one more boss to make before I'm in the clear, and this has to be the best one yet. The next biome I wanted to make a boss for was the Nether Waste biome. You guys really liked the Nether Dragon from the last video, so I thought I'd kind of piggyback off of that. My idea is the Netherite Gas, which is a molten armored gas that simply ejects thousands of these homing fireballs. It would spawn whenever a gas tier falls in the lava, i.e. every time 
every time you kill a guest. I went to find some reference, but what I found was nothing less than traumatizing. Mixed in with the usual furry drawings and whatnot, just... What, what is this? Who spent their time of day to make this thing that will undoubtedly haunt the dreams of whoever lays eyes upon it. Frankly, I'd like to shake their hand, but for now, I think I'm gonna go for a crab squid type design. So I started blocking out a T pose as usual, capital T in this instance. I decided to give it ribs and I put this lava orb inside of it. I'm happy with this. It's gross enough. I tried texturing it in light mode, but I just couldn't figure out how to make that look right. But then I thought back to what Skylar told me at the beginning of the video. Oh, it's okay to make mistakes. And pushing through is what ultimately gives you that fulfillment of creating something unique that you're proud to share with the world. But unfortunately, my community is going to exterminate me if I don't post soon. So I'm just gonna copy the nether dragon, I think. The netherite gas drops special tears, which can be crafted into these homing arrows, as well as a magma bow, which can shoot three arrows at once. You see where I'm going with this. Against all odds, I finally completed completed all three bosses, and I think they're great. But it doesn't matter what I think, because the day has finally arrived. I made some last minute changes, made the presentation more professional, and it's finally time for the call I've been waiting for. But before we do that, I just want to look back at all the mobs we've created over the years. Some were good, and some were even better. Some were inspiring, and some kept me up at night. The creeper had six limbs, and that's okay. I keep telling myself that every day. But after all these mobs and all these videos, I think it's time we add some to the game. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> sorry. You get to choose one of the bosses from today's video and force me to code it into the game. There's a poll live right now on my Twitter and whichever mob has the most votes in seven days, I will add it to the game in a mod which I will release in another video. You ready to be impressed? Absolutely I am. I would rate this one an 8 out of 10, just because I really think it's got some style. For complexity, I would say this one is probably a 7 out of 10. I think for design, uh, this one's a little more simple, probably like a 7 out of 10. The complexity of this mod is a little higher, probably closer to a 9 out of 10, just because the lever would be a little difficult. All right, for visual style, I mean, I gotta give this thing a 10 out of 10. For complexity, I think, surprisingly, this one is actually not as complex as it seems. This is probably a three or four out of 10. Just because it's not complex doesn't mean it's not fun. That's pretty much it. Come on over, check out my channel, come see what mods I'm making, what games I'm working on. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I managed to impress someone who makes programs for a living two videos in a row. Thanks again to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to download the app before December 31st to claim that reward.